How's it going guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to show you how you can set up your collections to show only products that you currently have in stock. And any products that are out of stock with no inventory in them are going to not show on your collection page. Uh, ideally I think this is the way it should be but um, it isn't unfortunately the case and uh, it's not really controlled by the theme. The theme is only controlling what Shopify is telling it to show. So this is going to, this tutorial is going to show you how you can set this up and it's not difficult at all. It's actually very quick and simple, but I feel like there's just a couple of things to mention right off the bat in regards to it that are going to be good to keep in mind. So um, this is only going to show products that are completely out of stock. And what I mean by that is if a product has two variants and one is out of stock and the other is currently in stock, um, it will still continue to show that product because it's not completely out of stock. So don't worry about that. When they click into the product, they'll see that that variant is out of stock, but then they can set it to the other variant and that will show to be in stock. So nothing to worry about that. Another thing to note as well, if you are selling products that are out of stock but you've marked them to continue selling when out of stock what I'm going to show you unfortunately is going to show them as hidden they're they are out of stock in the system that's why the, the theme is just going to show them or not show them sorry because they're out of stock so if you're wondering why those products aren't showing after following this guide, that is the reason. Unfortunately, there's no way really around it. It's not really a theme thing. Um, it's just something that Shopify um, haven't really accounted for, but hopefully uh, that won't be a problem for you that you're not doing it that way and you don't mind. You just want to show products that are currently in stock. And if you follow this guide, that's going to show exactly what you need to do. So let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, so for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use our Symmetry demo store and I have already created a collection and it's got all my products in it. Um, so here I go. It's my all products collection. Now, uh, one thing I want to note, and I'm going to show you how you can take control of this because unfortunately there isn't a collection created for all your products. So there is, however, a collection slash all link up here. If you type that in after your website name, it's going to bring you to a page with all your products in it. Um, but there's no way in the back end to edit that uh, actual collection. So I'm, I will get to a point in this video where I show you how you can edit that. Because I think it's quite, it's very simple. Uh, very, very simple. It's just not apparent. Um, but like I said, what we're here to do is I have all my products in this collection. I now want to only show products that are currently in stock in this collection. And these two products here at the top, Columbia and Trans Canada, I know that they are set to zero inventory. And so what I want to happen is that when I reload this page, all I'm gonna see is products that are in stock. So what do I do? Um, I go over to products slash collections and now this is the part I was mentioning at the beginning. I want to take control of that collection uh, that is uh, collection slash all. What you need to do is you need to create a collection and when you do, I'm just gonna go into this one for example. All you have to do is edit the website SEO of that collection. So here at the bottom you see URL and handle. So you might have created a collection, call it something and that's what's showing us here. But if you delete that, part at the beginning and set this to all and click save that is going to take over the default collection that Shopify has and now you have total control over it so when people go to collections slash all they're now going to go to whatever products you add to this collection that's why I have it set here at the top all products collection and I had to create this collection before I started doing anything now let's get back to the matter at hand um, here we have the layout. I have it set to manually. And here I have Columbia, TransCanada, and Ask Him Duffel Bag. What I want to do is, I have a condition here that is set to product price. You don't need to have this, but I just have this so it pulls in all my products. So if I set the product price uh, is greater than, set it to zero, that's going to pull in every single product in my store. Now, I want to set it to all co conditions. I want to add a new condition and change it from product price, it's gonna be set to inventory stock. And inventory stock is gonna be greater than zero. And if I click save, watch what happens here. It changes and removes the first two. So now if I go over to my website, Columbia Trans Canada, if I refresh, hopefully it's updated in time, it's now showing only products 
that have a greater inventory than zero and everything else is hidden. So that's it guys pretty much. So all you gotta do is go into the collection that you want it to hide products that are out of stock. Add the condition here that is uh, so if you already have a condition already there make sure it's set to all conditions because if you set to any condition then it's like it has a bit of a conflict and won't work. So if you set to all conditions inventory stock greater than zero click save check the collection it should only be showing products that are currently have inventory in stock um yeah that's it guys thanks very 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 much for watching i hope this helped you guys out and um, one of those things that i wasn't aware of that you could do and i think is very helpful because there's nothing more worse than being a customer going to a website where you see all these products and you're like looking at the ones that you want and every time you click in you look at it it says out of stock so if you click out go back in out of stock click in click out now i don't have to worry about this with my website all it's going to show is products that are currently in stock so yeah uh, if this uh, video guide helps you guys please consider giving the channel a subscribe because i'll be putting out more content like this that will hopefully help people with some tips and tricks um or people that are just coming here to look for the quick answers this is all also going to help and yeah give it a like it would help if you have any questions and comments drop them down below myself or someone from the youtube community will respond and help you guys out um and if you're currently interested in getting a new theme consider checking out our themes on the Shopify theme store there'll be links down below for those uh, we've got currently seven themes uh, for sale hopefully there'll be one of them will be able to suit your needs and style of the website you're looking for but um yeah thanks very much for watching guys have a great day and all the best